Whether you're a designer interested in prototyping or a tabletop gamer looking to increase your collection of miniatures, a 3D printer might be the manufacturing tool you need. Hello guys, in this video, we're looking at the five best 3D printers of 2023. And if you want more information, we also put the links in the description box down below. Thanks. Starting our list with number five, we've got the Flashforge Finder. The Flashforge Finder focuses on easy setup and everyday use. Its fun design and easy-to-use software are great for exploring the world of 3D printing or letting your kids run wild even if it is a bit outdated. You should have no issues setting up the Finder the first time, and it comes with a number of features that help with consistency and access. There's a process for automatically leveling the build plate before use, and you can slide the plate out after a print to easily remove it. Plus, all of the hot components are enclosed, so there's little to no risk of accidental burns or melted plastic. It comes 16.54 square inches and is featured with a 3.5 inch full color touchscreen with intuitive icons, makes for easy operation. The build area is a bit on the small side, measuring just 5.5 inches horizontally and vertically, but that should be more than enough to bring your smaller ideas to life or print in multiple pieces. Its 100 micron layer resolution isn't terribly impressive, instead falling in line with most other 3D printers. It only works with PLA, the most common 3D printing filament, so if you want to use different materials, you'll want to look elsewhere, like the Monoprice Maker Ultimate. Amazon buyers generally agreed that, while the finder is a little basic, it offers an excellent entryway into 3D printing with little risk of screwing up your prints or burning your hands. A number of them recommended an external filament holder, mainly if you buy third-party filament and designs are readily available in any number of shapes and sizes. Overall, the Flashforge Finder takes the learning and guesswork out of the process, making it a great option for families and kids that want to get started quickly. Next with number four, we've got the Creality Sermon V1 Pro. Creality Sermon V1 Pro is a plug and play 3D printer with safety options useful for families, schools, and libraries. Unlike cheap toy printers aimed at young makers, this $499 deluxe machine delivers quality results with a simple-to-use interface. The build volume is smaller than average, but it makes up for it with a direct drive, flex plate, heated bed, and built-in camera. It also arrives pre-leveled from the factory, something we rarely see. It's a great machine for beginners who only need to unbox it, load up the filament, and start printing. We went from box to first print in under 20 minutes. The Sermon V1 Pro is fully enclosed in a white case with several windows, making it look more like a countertop appliance than any DIY kit. The case serves to hide all its moving parts, while also keeping the print area warm and draft-free. The door has a sensor that pauses the printer, further protecting curious children from moving parts. Its core XY design keeps the print head at the top of the machine, while the bed slowly lowers downward. Combined with its lightweight direct drive, the Sermon provides smoother, string-free prints than a typical bed slinger, while also keeping the hot nozzle in a difficult-to-reach area. We found output quality impressive, whether we were printing a sample spaceman print or a set of maker coins with the St. Louis arch on them, and we were even able to print a translucent wallet using TPU filament as well. The only complaint is the need to use a phone app, the Creality Cloud, to take advantage of the built-in camera and Wi-Fi capabilities. The machine also works with a full-sized SD card for offline use as well. Next up at number 3, we've got the AnchorMake M5. High-speed 3D printers are all the rage right now, and the AnchorMake M5 is at the head of the pack. Launched as a Kickstarter campaign, the machine is now available for retail at a price of $799. The printer has a standard speed of 250 mm per second, which is five times faster than the average 50 mm per second recommended for Cartesian type printers. The Anchor Make impressed us not just with its quality and speed, but with its ease of use. This machine is made for people who are new to 3D printing, but are willing to spend a lot on a smart printer that works right away. It has one of the best auto bed leveling systems, a smooth filament path that loads easily, a filament brake detector, and a built-in camera that can alert you when a print goes bad. Paired with Wi-Fi and a smartphone app, it can tell you when a print is failing and let you cancel the run, even if you're miles away. It's always got their own downside, anyways. The fans needed to cool prints at this speed are very loud, and you have to use Anchor Make Slicer to access both Wi-Fi and the print monitoring system. Anchor was so certain everyone would use Wi-Fi that it did not include a flash drive with the unit, which is an unusual USB-C size. You'll also need to buy replacement nozzles directly from Anchor as they're a unique size somewhere between a standard MK8 and a Volcano. Personally, 
I don't mind these quirks as the Wi-Fi monitoring means I can run the printer away from my home office and watch it with my phone. Anchor is also a well-established manufacturer and online retailer, so I'm confident their store will be stocked with accessories when users need them. At number 2, we've got the Prusa MK3S Plus. Considered the best 3D printer overall by many aficionados, the Prusa MK3S Plus has received countless industry accolades and awards, and with good reason. The MK3S Plus is a powerhouse 3D printer that combines reliable hardware, feature-rich software, and a support channel that makes the Prusa's signature black and orange hardware a common sight in 3D printing farms. The MK3S Plus is based on the i3 platform and has benefited from several generations of incremental upgrades which have resulted in one of the best 3D printers on the market. Silent stepper drivers, removable textured build platforms, automatic bed leveling probes, and more. The list of features that come stock on the Prusa MK3S Plus is certainly impressive, but that's only part of the story with the MK3S Plus. Prusa has developed their own slicer app, Prusa Slicer, for processing 3D models and is actively adding new features requested by the community. Features like the ability to paint on a support material, create variable layer heights, and generate custom printer profiles are examples of how Prusa Slicer enables the MK3S Plus to leap ahead of the competition. At a price point of $999 for an assembled printer and $749 for a DIY kit, the MK3S Plus is one of the most expensive machines on this list. That price may raise system eyebrows among 3D printing enthusiasts who have become accustomed to printers in the sub $300 price range, but for power users who need uncompromising performance and industry-leading documentation and support, the MK3S Plus is at the top of the list. The last product on our list is the Monoprice Maker Ultimate. The Monoprice Maker Ultimate sets the bar high for budget-friendly 3D printers. Its 20 micron layer resolution is one of the best available for fused filament printers, resulting in prints with smooth sides and excellent detail. It packs in the kind of features you're likely to see on more expensive 3D printers, like an all-metal frame, heated build plate, and support for a wide variety of materials. Despite all that, it will run you just $449.99, although you can often find open box specials for even less. The Maker Ultimate's 20 micron layer resolution is easily its headline feature. It's as much as five times more detailed than some of the other printers on our list, and the results are immediately evident. At the highest quality, printed models are almost smooth on the sides, and you're unlikely to see any burrs or bumps, and its print area is 7.8 inches horizontally and 6.8 inches vertically. The Maker Ultimate comes out of the box with a 150 millimeters per second speed, but as you dial in the settings, you can push it as high as 300 millimeters per second, although the consistency will suffer a bit as a result. Unlike some of the other printers on the list, the Ultimate is software agnostic, so you can opt for your favorite slicing program or even control it remotely with a Raspberry Pi and Octoprint. Assembly and setup are surprisingly easy, as the Maker Ultimate arrives almost entirely put together. You'll simply need to connect a wire from the back of the frame to the print head, and then follow the on-screen instructions to level the print bed. Amazon shoppers did note that getting the settings just right for those excellent prints took a few tries, which is to be expected. The print quality impressed us, but they noted the slow print speed was a bit of a letdown. Monoprice's flagship Maker Select Ultimate boasts great features for the price, but its best trait is the print quality, which is the envy of 3D printers twice the price. Thanks for watching, that's all for now, and hope all of you guys enjoy the video. Thanks.